So sometimes people ask me, they come up to me and they say, Hey, Nito, do people really come up to you? Okay, I totally stole that. Emo Phillips, one of the greatest comedians of all time. But people do ask me, do I only search vintage rolls? And the answer is no. I love rolls. Vintage rolls is kind of my specialty and definitely been my thing for a long time. But bank rolls is what got me started over 40 years ago. I know. Anyway, I used to BMX bike down to the local bank, buy some rolls, search them. So really, searching rolls is what got me started. And in answer to the question, do I only search vintage rolls? Absolutely not. Nice smooth zoom out there. Got a few samples here, a few samples of my vintage rolls. I think today we're actually going to open this one. So this one has mystery ends and the reason I'm going to open it is because it's already kind of coming apart in the box. I know it's a good one. I've had some other ones from the same seller. Very nice rolls. So we'll open this one today. But anyway, here are some samples of some of my vintage rolls. I know people like to see that. This is a, a, a seller who I bought from for many, many years. And this is the legendary seller who 10 years ago or so, I got a piece of gold in one of his rolls. I got a $1 gold piece. Um, so anyway, uh, he supposedly had a family member who collected and sort of more saved coins than collected coins, but if you notice what's on the end here, uh, this has a couple pretty special ends, a Civil War token to begin with. And then the other end is an Indian. Many of his rolls are Indians and they're not suspicious at all because like I said, he has had amazing rolls, but also um, I've been buying for him a long time and the true story supposedly is he's got a family member who was into saving rolls of what she thought was were old valuable pennies and she didn't really look at them individually too much so here are some of my newer rolls um, I'll open a couple of these for sure coming up soon this would be 2010 the first year of the Lincoln Shield penny um, I don't know if you have seen the insane prices for these in mint state conditions, which are mint state are meant for circulation. MS, so MS67, MS68, these are going for thousands of dollars. Some of these, believe it or not, they're very new for me anyway. Some of you, they're not so new for, but uh, vintage for some of you. But for me, uh, these are pretty new. So here's some 2010 Philadelphia. Here's some 2010, I'm sorry, those are the Philadelphia. Here's the Philadelphia. Oh, my bad. Okay, both Philadelphia, I thought I pulled out two different ones. I have, I have D's also, so just so you know, but look at, look at these beauties. So anyway, um, all these pennies I'm going to show you. Some of these are going for a thousand dollars or more in very high mint states. Maybe even more than that for some of these. So the difference of this roll is that this is a bank roll, which came from a mint bag somewhere along the way, but doesn't quite have the chance of having coins in as as amazing condition as those rolls straight from the mint but it's going to be a good roll so here is a 2009 Philadelphia pennies So this one is from the Lincoln Cent Professional Life. I'm going to show you how much some of these are going for, and it's going to blow your mind. These are 2009 pennies. 
If I happen to have a mint state 68 or 69 in here, I might end up with a viral video because I'm going to have thousands of dollars in pennies. <laughs> so let's see how that goes. And then here are some nickel rolls. I actually don't search a lot of nickels in general, but here's some original mint rolls. Beautiful. This is from the Westward Journey nickel series. You can see how nice these are. And another mint roll. Another uh, Westward Journey series. Sorry about that. You can see this this side has dulled a little bit. But I don't take that as a bad sign. I take it as a nice age sign. There's potential toning on some of these. There's some potential original luster for sure. Anyway, some more gorgeous coins. 2005 on these, 2006 on those. And so today we're going to start with this little guy. And we'll see how that goes. So today's roll is a roll that I actually don't remember how much I paid for it. I don't know exactly how long I've had it. I've opened a few of these before the days of filming them for YouTube, just like many of my rolls. And so we're going to find out together if this is a great roll, uh, an average roll, a junk roll. But I do know it's a real roll because a couple of these in the past have produced some great coins. And I'm pretty sure this was not an expensive roll, maybe less than $30. And this is the roll that was starting to open in the box a little, so let's just open it. We'll inspect it a little bit. Uh, I believe there's a similar wrapper going around that people can buy and you can make a pretend roll and rip people off if that's your thing. Please don't make that your thing. So this one though is probably at least 30 to 40 years old I would say. So let's just get to it here and I'm just going to open this and now wow, that opened really nice. This is, a, this is a cardboard kind of roll. I don't see any steel in there. So this one I'm going to do the regular thing here and kind of spread it out and then I'll organize it for you. So let's just get these gently out. No repeating. Looks like it was stamped. No judgment though because I know I've had some decent coins from these in the past. So let's let's see if we can spot anything cool. All right, everyone, through the magic of television, here it is. Are you ready? You're not going to believe it, but this was actually a wonderfully fun roll with a lot of great stuff in it. Well, let's get to it. All right, here's the moment of truth. Let's take a look. See what we got. I'm going to start here. So, no complaints when the first two are 1910. I'll see if I can clean that one up a little bit, but not bad. 1917, 1917, 1919. 1919S, 
And then we got a 1924, 1925, all semi-key dates really, 1926, 1926D, 1927, maybe cleaned in the past somewhere, 1929, 1929D, a very nice, heavily struck 1929D. That's a really nice coin, actually. 1947, or no. 1942, 1947, 1947, 1947D, 1948D, 1948D, 1950. Look at the variety of these 1950s, the colors they come in. This one's got some original luster, really nice kind of a red-brown. Just the variety of the finishes on these coins is pretty amazing. So then we have a 1953, 1953, 1955D, a couple of those, 1955D, 1955D, that one's a little nicer. And then we have some 56D, some very nice 57s. That one's got some damage from something. 57D, very nice. 57D, very nice. 58D, really, really nice. That one's really nice. And then we have some more 1958s. I mean, look at the difference. And also, in this roll was this absolutely beautiful 1944. And then look at this 1924S. Really nice. And a bunch and then I got a bunch of S's in here too. That kind of surprised me. A 39S, 42S, 44S, 45S, 46S, 47S, and a 53S. Now 47 is pretty nice too. Maybe not as nice as the 24s or the that 44s so that was a super fun roll and my next step is the usual thing which is I basically take my loop sit down for a while sit down with my PCGS guide online or my NGC guide and I look for varieties and I see what I have and study them for unexpected things But man, this is some fun stuff. So, some of you did say, Hey, keep showing us your cool stuff. And hey, all my stuff is cool stuff, so, okay. Cool stuff. I got a little silver and a little gold, literally. Start with this guy. Uh, Olympic commemorative coin made by the US Mint. It's silver. It's not quite perfect, but it is proof. And I like it. 1988 I'll let you enjoy that for a moment. Pretty coin. Next we'll go to the the Australian kookaburra. And the Australian kookaburra is a silver round. 
more considered a, a silver round rather than a coin. But the Canadian, uh, sorry, the um, the Australian mint makes some absolutely beautiful coins. So the kookaburra, a proof kookaburra. One Australian dollar mate. How's that for a horrible accent? Oh, oh yeah. Kookaburra. And then we have another one with the queen. And this is a tiny little gold coin. Australia again. And this one's cool. This is from a World War II commemorative gold coin. How cool is that? So anyway, there you go my friends. Cool stuff. And a tiny little queen.